and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you could learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. Start and I sing, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. No, class, there's no reason to be nervous. Phew! It's not like this is some sort of punishment. Huh. Have you ever faced certain doom? If one of you would simply volunteer for the task, we wouldn't have to go through this. <sighs> when all that stood between you and total failure... Okay, boys, last ones... ...was a straw. Congratulations, Buster! You win the supremely exciting challenge of competing against Brain in the third grade mathathon. <gasps> oh. Buster? Hmm. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> hey. Okay, all I need are some good jokes. If I can make the crowd laugh, maybe it won't matter that I don't know anything. It's just a practice round, Buster. If you get a question wrong, it's not the end of the world. You mean if I could even get a question right, you don't know what it's like to be us. All right, contestants. Please remove all reference material so I can read the first question. Go easy, brain, please. Define hypotenuse. Yes, Buster? I... no. Uh, did I do that? Yes, you did. You have five seconds to answer. Um... Hi, Potnoose! <laughs> Very funny, Buster. But we're not at Jack's Joke Shop. All right, Brain, would you like to try? Go easy, Brain, please. Can I pass? If you'd like. What are you doing? Do you want these people to think you're an ignoramus? But Buster... But Buster! But Buster! He'll be fine. Meanwhile, millions of people will think you know what a hypotenuse is. The side of a trapezoid. <sighs> I'm sorry, Brain. That is wrong. <gasps> it's the side of a triangle. Triangle? That can't be right. Hold on while I look this up. Next question. How many sides does an octagon have? An octagon. <laughs> I can't find it any... Oops. He's right. Yes, Buster? I know this one. An octagon has eight arms. I, I, I mean, sides. Correct. Good thing I watched Attack of the Octopus people last night. Uh, I'm sorry. What was the question? Too late. Next question. Jack and Jill went to the ice cream parlor. Oh, no, no, no! What's going on out there? Are they laughing at us? Jill gave her scoops to Jack, and Jack traded the combined total of their scoops for twice as many scoops of double chocolate almond ripple. How many scoops would he have? <laughs> Twelve scoops of double chocolate almond ripple. Correct again. Uh oh. I beat Bray! I always knew TV and ice cream were good for you. I don't understand, Brain. What happened? Huh? Oh, um. Hello! Anybody in there? <laughs> Stop it, Francine. That's mean. I'll see you guys later. I just want to say, I really respected your ignorance. Uh, thank you, Binky. So, dear, how was your day? Chimerical. 
And what made it a fire-breathing monster with a lion's head with a goat's body? I think he must mean definition number two. Oh, uh, what made it absurd or impossible, son? What would you think of me if I ever got anything wrong? Well, honey, everybody gets things wrong sometimes. Are you all right? Sure. I'm just tired. I had a big game today at school. Maybe you should do some homework. That always perks you up. IQ at 120 and still falling. 115. You want to call it? May 23rd, 4.53 p.m. Patient declared average, average, average. And since Buster performed so well in our class mathathon, I would like to offer him the opportunity to represent us in the intra class finals if he so chooses. Buster? Hey! This is so weird. Brain's never ever been absent before. Well, everybody gets sick sometimes. Oh, hi, Brain. I was just studying for the mathathon. Cool. Hey, I brought you a present. And he said he wouldn't need any of this stuff anymore, and that he should pass it on to someone who could use it. Who? Oh, you? <laughs> hey, I didn't say it. Alan did. And he said Albert Einstein didn't always get great grades when he was in school either. Alan? Who's Alan? Brain is. He said from now on to call him Alan. You mean... He's not Brain anymore? Nope. And what's the deal with cafeteria food? Excuse me, but if I want slop, I can read Ogleberg's treatise on binomial coefficients. Laugh, 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 laugh. And what's with substitute teachers? Uh, hi, Brain. Can we come in? It's Alan. It's Alan. And sure, guys, I can always use an audience. What are you doing, Brain? It's Alan. It's Alan. Well, now that things have changed, I need to be practical and train myself for a new career in comedy. You're going to be a comedian? Comedy seemed like something that wouldn't require great intelligence. Hey! Watch this! I just smashed an atom. Why have you stopped doing Brain stuff? What do you mean things have changed? Everything comes to an end. And besides, you always have Buster. Oh! Are you crazy? No, just practical and willing to face facts. No use crying over spilt milk. Stop him! I know, you're right. I need a red nose. We've got to do something fast before he humiliates himself. Him? What about us? A school without a brain is like, hey, wait a minute. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. What makes you think I can't become a brain like Brain... I mean, Alan said. Brain... I mean, Alan was a brain, and if a brain says I'm an Alan, then... Okay, Einstein. If x equals pi times y cubed, and y equals the square root of 78, how would you determine the value of x? Ha! Easy. Really? I just call and ask Brain. I see what you mean. Oh no! I'm in the mathathon! Okay, if we leave these equations where Brain can find them, maybe when he sees them, he won't be able to stop himself from solving them. And you really think that'll make him want to be Brain again? I think it's a great idea. When I was a Brain ten minutes ago, I found numbers fascinating.
Hello? Yes, is the brain of the house in? It's Alan. Shh. You could win a free trip to Einstein's birthplace if you answer this question. Determine the value of x if y equals the cosine of... Okay, just do it like I said, and you can watch Mary Moo Cow for a week. Hey, how'd he get this anyway? He never gave me a show here. Is there a mathematician in the house? You, sir. You look very mathy. You've got to help quick. What is it? Well, this train left Denver at 12 o'clock going 250 kilometers an hour. But then this other train left Miami at 2.30 going 400 kilometers an hour. And they're both accidentally on Will the same Will you stop track it? I've accepted the truth. I'm an idiot. What's this? Hey, you're sneaking math books. No, I, I, it's a prop. Okay, you're right. I don't really want to do this. I want to do the mathathon, no matter how scary it is. Yahoo! Thanks, Alan. It's brain. All right. First question. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I am so glad Rapper and let Brain take my place. Define pi. Um, uh, the, uh, ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter? Correct. Oh. Yeah? Hey, thanks, Bunny. We did it. We? Who is this? How did you get this number? Operator? Operator! Looking forward to something neat is always fun, especially when you end up with something that's better than what you expected. Like when Brain and I had to make dessert for a class party. These will be the best chocolate banana splits ever. Oh no, the ice cream melted. Now what do we do? Chocolate banana shakes. What else? Or Buster's best Christmas ever. Wow, thanks, Santa! Daddy, you made it home for Christmas! <laughs> or when Pal finally got his new chew toy, but had more fun with the shopping bag. <laughs> hey, I got something! Wow, Binky, real gold! Who needs that? I found a quarter! See? You just never know. The sure thing. Hi. Hey! Uh, gotcha! Arthur, what's this all about? What else? Aqualand. Aqua what? Aqualand. Come look! Aren't you coming? I have to get this in the oven, Arthur. Dad, Aqualand TV, now! See, Dad? That's Aqualand. Gift Galleon, the Polar Coaster, Squid Scrambler, Deluxe Great White Sharkade is Aqualand. Aqualand! Can we go? Yeah, the rides are cool. And they have the best souvenirs. But it looks like just another amusement park. But it's not, it's... I know, I know, Aqualand. I remember a place near the ocean when I was a boy, and I'll bet it was a lot more fun than... Aqualand? Yes. In fact, I'll show you this weekend. A place more fun than Aqualand? Impossible! Nothing could be more fun than Aqualand. Yeah, Binky's right. I hear the polar coaster is so cool, they have to defrost it. That's it. What's it? My dad's home movies. They have scenes of an old park by the beach. And man, it had everything. Roller coasters, a fun house, even an old carousel. It looks so neat. 
think it's called Marine World. And hey, maybe it is better than Aqualand. Maybe they have a ride that goes 20,000 leagues under the sea, just like in Jules Verne's story. How's the water, Captain Nemo? Or a Hawaiian Island Surf Sub Simulator. Hang ten, dudes! Ahoy, mates! They must have a pirate ride, too. What took you so long, my boy? Help yourself! Ha 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 ha! Oh man, I can't wait to go to Marine World. Psst, Arthur, I couldn't find my swimming trunks. Don't worry, Binky, you're fine. What do we need swimsuits for anyway? You'll see when we get there. Just the beach. And don't forget the ocean. Well, what about Marine World, like we saw in your home movies? Oh, Marine World's been gone for years. In fact, we're standing right where it used to be. But don't worry, we're going somewhere even better. Ocean Zone. Ocean Zone? How do we get there? Oh, you'll know when you find it. I know you're all good swimmers, so just pick a swimming buddy and make sure you tell me where you're going. What are we going to do now? I don't know. There's not much to do around here. Let's look for Ocean Zone over there. We can wade right over. But I'll get my pants wet. Then how do we get there? That's a tough one. Hey, let's swim across to see if Ocean Zone is on the other side. Uh, it looks kind of deep. No, I'll show you. Oh, okay, um, I'll use a bigger rock. Oh! Wow, look at them go. Hey, sea hares. Sea hares? Hmm, do you think they know Bionic Bunny? Sea anemones. A starfish. Sea stars is the preferred term. Wow, this place is crawling with stuff. Wow. These shells are neat. Ah! Help! An octopus is grabbing me! That's just kelp, D.W. <sighs> kelp! Kelp! What's wrong? I was minding my own business, and that kelp attacked me. Sue Ellen, why don't you try looking for Ocean Zone up the beach? We'll be right here. A surfboard? Okay. That's quite a shell collection you have there, D.W. They're not just shells. They're souvenirs. <sighs> Dad, can I borrow something to get to Ocean Zone? Whatever you need, Arthur. in its natural habitat. Wow, I wonder what other strange creatures lurk in these waters. Shark! No, Sue Ellen, just Mr. Ratburn. You should always swim with a buddy, so here I am. A real shark! Relax, it's just a dolphin, see? 
And as you know, a shark is a fish with a cartilaginous skeleton and lateral gill slits, while a dolphin is a warm-blooded aquatic mammal. With a ridiculous sense of humor. Land ho! Can't you go any faster? You try being the outboard motor for a change. Why? Then I'll get wet too. Oh! <laughs> oh well. Now that I'm wet, let's go. And make sure the walls are extra strong. I want my shell safe. Hey, I forgot one. Oh, what is it? Just a hermit crab. That shell is his home. Put it down gently. Feed it. I'm only collecting nice seashells, not crabby ones. We made it! And now let's start looking. Looking for what? Ocean Zone. What else? Did you guys find the Ocean Zone? No, but who cares? This place is actually quite surprising. Look! A thrill ride chair! Maybe we're closer to Ocean Zone than we thought. Help! 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 What happened? Did someone call for help? We were looking for Ocean Zone, then the tide came in. Now we're stranded. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. I'll be right there, guys. You made it! All right! Great! Let's go! Hey, why aren't you heading for shore? I thought we'd take a more exciting way back. Uh, how much more exciting? Hold on! Here it comes! Whoa! It was fun, wasn't it, DW? Sure. Real fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, Let's do, do it, it again. again. Hey, I want to turn. Me too. So, how'd you like the ocean zone? I don't know. We never found it. All we found were tide pools. And a big wave. And I found enough mollusks for two extra-long lectures, a midterm, and a 200-question test. What a perfect day. And I saw a dolphin and my shells! They're gone! Oh, my shells! Lost forever! But they weren't really yours, DW. They belonged to the... Ocean. Hey, this is the ocean zone, isn't it? Good one, Dad. Look, more dolphins, and they're jumping. Let's go watch. Wow. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you can learn to work and play, and get along with each other. Listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. It's a city.